In this video, you're going to learn about something called opioid-induced endocrinopathy, which can really, really screw up your health. Opioid-induced endocrinopathy is one of the most common, yet least often diagnosed, negative consequences of prolonged opioid therapy. Opioids, and especially sustained action opioids, used on a daily basis for more than 30 days, have a number of negative effects on your endocrine function. Daily use of opioids can decrease levels of gonadal sex hormones, growth hormone, cortisol, and DHEAS. The primary mechanism for opioid-induced sex hormone deficiency is suppression of the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis. Sex hormones are produced by the gonads, testes in men, ovaries in women. The principal sex hormones are testosterone in men and estradiol in women. Common symptoms of opioid-induced endocrinopathy include anemia, decreased libido, decreased muscle mass, depression, erectile dysfunction, fatigue, hot flashes, menstrual irregularities, osteoporosis, sweating, vasomotor instability, and weight gain. Any opioid drug can cause opioid-induced endocrinopathy. However, the sustained action opioids, and especially methadone, are much more likely to cause significant endocrinopathy than the short-acting opioids. According to doctors that are specialists in opioid-induced endocrinopathy, this disorder should be considered in any patient receiving daily opioid treatment in an amount equivalent to 100 milligrams of morphine or more. In addition, Patients should be asked routinely about symptoms suggestive of sex hormone deficiency before treatment and at regularly scheduled follow-up medical visits. If you've been identifying with some of the symptoms associated with opioid-induced endocrinopathy, you may have a mild, moderate, or even severe case of this disorder. Fortunately, there is hope. Researchers have found ways to reverse opioid-induced endocrinopathy. Here are some of the recommended treatment protocols for opioid-induced endocrinopathy. Testosterone replacement therapy for men and 50 to 100 milligrams of a supplement called DHEA for women, or testosterone for women, but only one-fourth the amount needed for males. Another common way is opioid rotation. Patients who gained weight when receiving long-term treatment with morphine or methadone subsequently lost substantial weight when rotated to oxycodone or buprenorphine. If you're experiencing any of the symptoms of opioid-induced endocrinopathy, or if you're on over 100 milligrams of morphine or the equivalent, and especially if you're on methadone, you might want to go to the doctor for a checkup. Since most regular doctors are clueless about opioid-induced endocrinopathy, you might want to go to an endocrinologist. One of my patients at the methadone clinic I was a counselor at had been on 140 milligrams of methadone for six years. He suffered from massive weight gain, low libido, erectile dysfunction, fatigue, depression, loss of muscle mass, and many other symptoms associated with opioid-induced endocrinopathy. After years of enduring these awful symptoms, he told his doctor and as a result was prescribed testosterone. He stated that the testosterone injections took away nearly all of his symptoms and as a result he was much happier and healthier while taking 140 milligrams of daily methadone. Key Concepts Millions of patients continue to require opioid analgesics for control of moderate to severe chronic pain, which is a disease that affects more Americans than cancer, heart disease, and diabetes combined. Additionally, there are millions of people without pain syndromes that are addicted to opioids or are taking opioid replacement medications such as methadone for opioid addiction. While most doctors and patients are aware of the common opioid effects such as sedation, constipation, pain relief, and nausea, not as many people have heard about opioid-induced endocrinopathy. Despite the fact that millions of people are suffering from this order to at least some degree, doctors should tell their patients about the possibility of them getting this disorder if the patient is receiving daily opioid treatment in an amount equivalent to 100 milligrams of morphine or more. And patients should report any symptoms associated with opioid-induced endocrinopathy to their doctor as soon as possible. Current treatment approaches for opioid-induced endocrinopathy are an opioid rotation or testosterone therapy 
or 50 to 100 milligrams of daily DHEA supplementation for females. Testosterone supplementation should be administered in amounts needed to manage symptoms of hypogonadism. In the United States, DHEA is available as a dietary supplement and is marketed with claims that daily treatment will decrease postmenopausal bone loss and improve muscle strength, sexual performance, and memory. Female patients with suspected androgen deficiency who are receiving long-term opioid treatment have reported increased energy, increased libido, and weight loss with DHEA supplementation. Conclusion Low libido and sexual dysfunction can cause significant problems in intimate relationships. Fatigue and depression can lead to extreme difficulty working, running a business, parenting, and enjoying life. Undiagnosed and untreated opioid-induced endocrinopathy due to unintentional yet harmful ignorance is causing so much needless suffering. Please help me spread awareness of opioid-induced endocrinopathy by sharing this video with anyone you think could benefit from it. Thanks.